Hey everyone, my name is Dream. We are here. This is going to be week number four, I believe, of the APA Academy Season 2, and we are up against Sticks of the Token Minorities. And uh, we've only played him once before, and we know just how scary he can be. Uh, that last match against him was wild. It was in the UBL playoffs, and uh, it was just a really, really fun match overall. But here, we have very, very different teams, and okay, we are going to see the Dialga, the Mawile, uh, Rotom Wash, Persian, Zygarde, and Victini. So right off the bat, no Porygon, which is very, very interesting to me. No Shemin, which is incredibly interesting to me. Uh, no Gengar, which is mildly interesting, but no Mesprit also. No Mesprit uh, is really freaking wild. Uh, no Roselia, so no real hazard stacking in this matchup. I think his only rockers would be uh, Mawile and Dialga, and I don't think he's gonna... I don't know. Dialga maybe, but either way. I mean, my original plan was just to lead off with Palkia, but that was assuming that he would want to lead off with the Mesprit. Now I'm not very sure at all what I want to lead off with. Um, I think I could possibly lead off with my Palkia regardless. Although Persian Firm is a very, very solid lead. I think... Maybe I could just lead Mamoswine. Maybe I could just lead Mamoswine. Either Mamoswine or Palkia. For sure, for sure. Um, hmm, either Mamoswine or Palkia. I'll go Palkia. Mm, I'll go Mamoswine. We'll see where that gets us. I'm using up all this time, but... uh, Mamoswine or Palkia, definitely... Okay, so also... Also... Uh, my Solgaleo was my best answer to the Shaman, which I'm glad I don't have to deal with. Um, my Solgaleo can be dedicated to kind of dealing with the Mawile. Uh, man, this is interesting. This is very interesting. I would be surprised if he didn't want to lead off the Persian. Uh, I believe that should be the Persian. Yeah, okay. That definitely checks out. That definitely, definitely checks out. I think, I think he might just assume that I want to click rocks turn one. Uh, regardless, I think I just want to sub. I think parting sh either parting shot or knockoff is going to be the most likely here. Um, parting shot makes a ton of sense to me. I think, but also I don't know. Knockoff makes just as much sense, especially with this type of lead. I couldn't imagine going for the foul play. Okay. Oof. That is a lot of damage to be doing right now, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it for now. <laughs> Let's see. He's going to see that I'm pretty much just max attack Adam in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not even doing a whole heck of a lot with Earthquake here. But I can just get rocks up. I'm going to go for that. And then from there... I mean, honestly, from there, I could probably just go into Scrafty here. I might also just be able to go into... I might also be able to go into Salazzle? No, I don't think Salazzle makes a whole lot of sense here. Um... Let me see... Yeah, foul play is just doing so much damage. I'd be curious to know he could parting shot right now. That'd be super interesting. I I'd be surprised, but it I wouldn't I don't know. I'd be mildly surprised. I guess it's not the craziest thing in the world. But Scrafty feels like the best thing I can do right now. Yeah, I'm super interested. The Zygarde is going to be super scary. I have my eye firmly on that Zygarde there. Because I'm going to have to deal with it, obviously. Um, but I guess we can see here. Just go for the knockoff. That's totally fine. And I think what I can do here... Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I am a shed skin. I am a shed skin scrafty with taunt. So um it's gonna make Will-O-Wisp on the Rotom reasonably useless, but also I can taunt a Mawile from being able to to Swords Dance. Uh, so let's see. Okay, okay, okay. If I do... Okay, I, f I feel like I have to taunt here, which is fine. But if I taunt the Swords Dance, then I could... I could also just go directly into... I'm gonna click Taunt. Then I could just go directly into Solgaleo at that point. I really don't think it's optimal for me to just uh, go into Solgaleo and let him get a sword dance up. Although, again, Solgaleo is kind of made to take it on. But uh, I'm gonna confuse the heck out of him with Dragon Dance uh, Taunt here. Regardless... Yeah, no, he, he also brought me to minus two on that one on that single turn. Um, he won the Mega Evolve, so he will lose Intimidate, but he could just expect me to switch out. Yeah, he's going to lose Intimidate for the rest of the match. So just setting up this, this Scrafty for the rest of the match is going to be interesting for me, I think. But uh, regardless, I'd be curious to know if he just goes for the Play Rough, but at the same time, can't use Stealth Rock. Okay. Okay. Now I can just go directly into the Solgaleo here. And yeah, this is He's going to want to sub. Uh, he's going to want to he's going to want to sucker punch me so I can click sub. And then I can try to deal with whatever wants to come in here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Solgaleo Again, small while. These are the kinds of interactions that I was hoping for here. I still want, I would still like to prevent rocks up if I can help it, but uh, it's going to kind of be difficult here, I think. Does he just go for the knockoff? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? Because Earthquake is not doing enough. But Earthquake is still going to be a 2 KO. And Knockoff. What kind of damage is Knockoff doing to me? Knockoff looks like a roll to KO me at this point. Oh man, that is not a good roll for me. If it's just Max Attack Adamant, which by all accounts it should be. That is not a good roll for me. If I'm at 166 HP, the knockoff is a is a straight up 50, like a 100% 50-50. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to try to weaken this thing. This is kind of what the Solgaleo is here for. That's more or less max HP. It should be. There's a knockoff. Like I said, it is going to be a straight up 50-50 here. We do end up taking it. And I'm going to I think I might just go into Zygarde here. I'm gonna do that. If he double knocks off, I mean that would be wild, but um I f I don't know. If he clicks play rough that'd be nuts. Man, he could actually click, click play rough though. Although I don't know, because Salazzle is a is a reasonable play for me to make. He's probably Stealth Rock, Swords Dance, Knock Off, Play Rough. Might not even have the Sucker Punch. That's interesting. That's interesting. But does withdraw. That's interesting. I don't know what that is at all. Goes in his eye guard. I can outrage here, obviously. Um, he is leftovers, but I don't think I'm doing enough with outrage. Zygarde. guard. 
uh, I don't know. Also, the fact that it's reasonably defensive concerns me, like, a lot. Okay, if it's not max HP, then Outrage is doing a whole lot of damage. If it, mm. This is tough. This one's a tough one. I wonder what he thought I was going to do. Because I could have EQ'd gotten a decent amount of damage off on this, which, I mean, doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot, but still. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I have to click Outrage here. Even though, man, Thousand Arrows really does potentially win me this match. I'm gonna click Outrage. Does withdraw, okay. I'd be curious. No, it goes into this thing, okay. Um, I am Scarfed and I would have to imagine that this is a 2 KO. If I get a two turn Outrage, that would be ideal for no matter what really happens here. Oh yeah, no, I uh, I don't even have to click anything because my uh, next turn is locked in. So it looks like it might not be a uh, 2 KO. If he knocks off my Scarf, I guess that I'm fine with that. But a KO here would be huge. It, a, a, KO, a KO here... No, okay. I, I, I was going to say a KO here and a 2 turn Outrage would be huge here. Uh, is that... I mean, okay. That's probably a Z parting shot, right? But for what, the Mawile? He knows that I'm Scarfed, too. That's what really sucks. He knows that I'm Scarfed. So, I think that means... Well, he knows that I have to switch here, right? Uh, what that means... Is that... Ugh. What that means is I almost definitely just have to give up my my Sogaleo here, right? And hope he doesn't click Swords Dance here. I just have to hope he doesn't click Swords Dance here. My Sogaleo is going to go down, which I think will be fine as long as I can do some maneuvering with my Salazzle. Or no, if anything, okay, so if he doesn't get a Swords Dance up, actually no, I, could, I don't think it matters if he gets a Swords Dance up because Zygarde comes back in. And, um, potentially just does what it needs to do. Right? Because Mawile... Mawile, Sucker Punch. Okay, Sucker Punch does a lot. So, yeah, no. So, um, let's go for the Stealth Rock. Okay. I mean, I'm okay with that. He, so, he might... He, he aggressively might not just have the Sucker Punch. Which I guess I'll find out off of this Earthquake. I guess I just find that out off of this Earthquake. But... If he doesn't have Sucker Punch... If he doesn't have Sucker Punch... Then he can't click Swords Dance. And if he doesn't click Swords Dance... Then, my Zygarde comes back in, clicks Thousand Arrows, and we're still in it. Okay, yeah, that checks out in my head. Um, it also gives my Salazzle an opportunity here, because I built my Salazzle to be able to, be able to take a Sucker Punch from Max Attack Adamant uh, after Rocks. So, he would have to, have to, have to click uh, Swords Dance in order to make this work for him. I don't know. I don't know what I do here. Part of me is wishing that I was uh, intimidating on my Scrafty instead, but uh, I don't think it's going to matter. Also, honestly, Chip from Scrafty Drain Punch might honestly be the difference maker here. I don't know. So many things can be the difference maker here. But it's really going to depend on whether he has Swords Dance and Sucker Punch. He probably does, but he already has... Wait, no. So far... No, he was... he has one or the other, right? Okay, so there's some damage. And... I can either Sunsteel Strike or Toxic here. I honestly don't even know what would be more beneficial here. Probably Toxic. I'm just going to click Toxic because... 
Uh, I probably just want to weaken it for Zygarde to come in and click Outrage. Or just force him to attack me, in which case Zygarde can come in and Outrage. Um, or for that matter, Salazar can maybe come in. Something can come in. If he, if he doesn't Dragon Dance here, then I think I'm okay-ish. But if he does Dragon Dance, then Toxic is the better play. So it checks out. It all checks out. Goes for a Coil. Okay. Goes for a Coil. That's concerning. That's concerning. This could potentially 6-0 me. <laughs> this could actually just potentially 6-0 me. He's also apparently aggressively just not concerned about uh, Ice Shard, or he, he knows that I'm acting like Adamant, but uh, I could also very well be Ice Shard. I guess the, that, I guess the Coil kind of helps uh, mitigate that as much as it can. I would be curious whether he Coils again. Regardless, I'm kind of stuck in here, right? So let's click Thousand Arrows. I think that's fine. Now I have to figure some things out, all right? I think I'm going to have to assume that this thing is max HP at the very least, at a minimum. Can I bring Salazzle in here and click HP? Mm. It barely misses out with HP Ice. So I almost have to bring in Zygarde. I almost have to bring in Zygarde. And if this thing's at plus one, then it just is not good for me. Like, it's not good. Um, This thing's probably not that fast, though, right? I think Styx built a kind of bulky offense version of this set. Would that actually allow me to bring in my... My Mamoswine? He might have the he, he might have the plus one thousand arrows here, and Mammoth Swine seems reasonably valuable to me in in the later match. But I might just have to do it here. I might just have to do it here. I'm gonna do it, man. I don't know. If he has a thousand arrow, or if he has the extreme speed, then he has the extreme speed. But uh, at this point, I kind of just need a little bit more damage onto this thing before. If I can get this thing like right around half, then I think Salazzle comes in and cleans it up for the rest of it. But it's not going to look great. Palkia is another potential, but Palkia doesn't do enough damage here. Palkia Hydro Pump doesn't look like it does enough damage, and he doesn't know that I don't outspeed him. <laughs> he doesn't know that I don't outspeed him. Uh, yeah, I might have to just give up Palkia for this interaction. Does Salazzle still win this match? Does Salazzle still win this match? I think it does. Okay, no. I think I'm going to do it. I think I just have to do it here. I think he was doing all this just to get my Salazzle in range of plus one extreme speed. But the defense investment on my Salazzle should allow me to do this here. And I just have to see. Whatever happens, happens here, man. I don't know. I don't know. Does withdraw. Interesting. Sacks off this. Goes down a rock, so I guess Mammoth Swine gets the KO. Um, 
does I do reveal the hidden power. He could be trying to maneuver his Mawile in, in which case it would Huh. If Victini comes in, it's definitely scarfed. Oh, you know what else? I think he maneuvered his Zygarde perfectly so that if, if the Zygarde comes back in, but no, Zygarde resists rocks. I was going to say Zyg if Zygarde comes back in, then it uh, would be under 50% and get to complete form. But I don't think that that's true given um, given the exact HP where it was. I think it was right around 60 HP, like right on the cusp of 60%, which would put it just above range. Um, huh. Is this thing scarfed? I mean, if it's not scarfed, it's bad for me. He probably... The fact that he was thinking about it makes me think that he... ...can take a hit. But even here... Oof. Z Sludge Wave. At 75%. I mean, this is assuming... I might as well just go for it, man. I don't think I have any business coming back in on rocks. Yeah, I don't think I have any business coming back in on rocks. Unless... It's against the Zygarde pre-coil. Then I think I take an extreme speed, but at this point, you know what? Let's just see how much damage I can get off right now. Let's just see how much damage I can get off right now. Uh, it's not Scarfed, so I guess he just doesn't have Scarfed. Maybe, maybe it's still Scarfed Rotom. I do have uh, my own Zygarde built to take on a Scarfed Rotom here. Um... Yeah, not enough damage, but I think that's okay. Goes for a can't. Ooh, that's wild. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. But now I can't nasty plot. Uh, I just click sludge wave. He brings in the Dialga next, and then he earth powers me. But I have to stay in and click fire blast, and this just kind of have to be how this goes. But, I mean, he also knows that I have to sludge wave, so maybe he's withdrawn. Yeah, it's going to go down to rocks, but, uh, or no, he, I guess he's assuming that he's going to be able to defog. Yeah, he has to be assuming that he's going to be able to defog here. And now that I know that this thing is coming in like this to earth, to click earth power. I might just want to go into Scrafty here. I might just want to go into Scrafty here. Let's see. Salazzle so still definitely has a use. In particular because... In particular because of... Goes for the Draco. Ooh, do we take this? I don't know, man. I don't know how, how, how offensively he built this. Okay. Okay. We're still knocked off, so we don't have the leftovers. We are going to be able to Dragon Dance up now. And... Salazzle is overall just going to be in a decent position later on in the match. He doesn't have Intimidate anymore. He doesn't have Foul or Parting Shot anymore. So now, actually, now, actually, plus, plus one speed outspeeds his entire team, except for this thing coming in. And now I don't even have the appropriate play rough switch in so i just have to deal chip damage with drain punch and then that would allow me to do what i mean it allows me to bring in palkia i guess palkia is decently defensive here um can also just allow me to bring in zygarde Zygarde's still a win con here. For sure. For sure, for sure. I'm going to click Drain Punch, hoping that I do a decent amount of chip damage, but he could miss play rough. Uh, no, I wouldn't hope for that, but uh, it did occur to me that that's a possibility. It did just occur to me that that's a possibility. Doesn't miss play rough. And that should allow me... That's a crit. Okay. Um... What does that allow me to do? I might just go into Palkia. 
Am I just going to Palkia? He doesn't know anything about my Palkia set. I could set up a sub, potentially. I could potentially set up a sub. And it would honestly give... Rotom a free defog, but I can toxic it and put me in a decent position to deal with the Victini later on. And that, I, and now that I know that the Victini is not scarfed, it means that I would be able to take on the Victini with thousand arrows, especially at the range that it has. I don't think I have to worry about it too too much. Which also means that Zygarde still potentially wins the match if I can. Just orchestrate a few things. If I could get a little more damage, I know orchestrate a few things. I think Palkia is going to be my way of getting those things to happen. I think Palkia is going to be my way of getting those things to happen. Part of me says that he has no reason to give up the this thing right now. So I could maybe get a sub up. Sucker Punch is still really valuable for the Salazzle. And maybe the Zygarde, but I don't know. Maybe it just gives this thing up just because it's time to give this thing up. I guess sub covers me but against both of those interactions. And it would allow me to avoid... Uh... I guess it doesn't matter anyway because Sucker Punch would break the sub anyway. Sucker Punch would break the sub anyway. But if he makes the hard switch into into Rotom, then that would be... It would be obviously better for me to be behind a sub. I really do want to click sub. Like, I genuinely want to click sub. I'm going to click sub. Let's see whatever happens. Does withdraw. Okay, okay, okay. We see the Rotom. I don't know. remember what this is. Is this a sack? It's a sack. Ooh, that is the freest sub I could have possibly imagined. I'm feeling it now. That's another, that's another passive one for, for Mamo. That's another passive one for Mamo. And hey, we're not getting 6-0'd. We are so far from being 6-0'd. Uh, I forget what this thing is. <laughs> it's this thing. That's fine. He doesn't know the type of build that I am. And honestly, it, this thing is like Assault Vested and it's just bad for me overall. But, I feel like he's kind of forced to Draco me, right? I don't know what type of um, coverage this thing, would, this thing would have for me, but I can... Has the Thunderbolt. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't break the sub! Okay, now we're doing something. Now we're doing things. I don't even care. This thing has no recovery. It, I'm, I'm feeling it now. All right. Okay. Okay. We are doing things now, man. This thing is for sure super defensive, too. Uh, I could sub up, too. Oh, my God. This is, this is aggressively opening the door for my Zygarde. This is aggressively opening the door for my Zygarde. He could switch out into the Rotom, which would make a whole lot of sense. I don't know how much of my set he's figured out by now, but uh, I can't really touch the Rotom that well other than Toxic. But, you know, we're just, we're, just, we're just here. We're just dealing with whatever we can deal with, you know? I don't know how to explain what we're doing here, but we're doing something. I think I'm pretty positive we're doing something. And it looks like Earth Power should be a KO here. Even if he does... Now, at this point, even if he does go into the Rotom, he could defog... Well, no. Now, now even defog doesn't even really matter at this point. That's it. Okay. Just the slightest chip damage on this is going to open the door for my Zygarde. I don't care because, uh, by all accounts, I should be able to outspeed this thing, even if he does defog. I should be able to outspeed this thing. I should be able to uh, get off a Toxic, and, uh... Please be at play! 
Okay. 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 <sighs> that is, uh... What we in the biz call worst case scenario. That was... The damage that I needed. That was absolutely damage that I needed. I don't understand this play, though. Oh, it's... It's choice. It's is it specs? Was it choice in a thunderbolt? Hey, I just wanted to cut in and say that uh, this was a really confusing moment for me because I was really, really convinced in this moment that uh, the Palkia would outspeed the Dialga, which didn't really make sense to me. It was really, honestly, just a kind of a brain being fried kind of a moment here. So. I know that I was playing earlier as though the Dialga outspeed me, and I knew in my head that the Dialga outsped me, because I made the proper substitute plays when I knew that it did outspeed me, but for whatever reason, in my head, when it came back in, I was convinced, for whatever reason, that uh, I could outspeed it, even though... Like I said, I knew earlier in the game that I was playing that correctly as though I knew that it did outspeed me. It's just, uh, it was just a really weird moment for me. I stayed in with Palkia just assuming that I would be able to hit the Dialga. And uh, it was a really confusing moment for me after the match. And I was just going to spare a little bit of just me being con really, really confused. But I was talking about it after the match and I was thinking that possibly the better play would have been to sack off Salazzle in that moment. Because having Palkia around... Uh, for the later game might have been more valuable to me than having um, the Slazzle, especially depending on how well I was able to play the Slazzle, but I know Styx was mentioning that Palkia was as good a sag as any in that moment. Uh, it was just really, I guess, deflating for me in that moment because I, I was also just really confused and it really just kind of threw off my entire game. I kind of um, play the rest of this match as though I had already lost it, but I do find somewhat of a light at the end of the tunnel here uh, towards the end, so I just wanted to throw it out there and, uh, just, again, just spare everybody just me being confused, re just aggressively confused for, like, a minute straight or so. This thing comes in. I don't think I do 51% to this, or maybe I, I don't know, man. I'm so thrown off at this point, but... Zygarde is my win con. Zygarde is my win con. Zygarde, uh, can a thousand arrows, no, a thousand arrows never does half, a thousand arrows never does half, if I give up Salazzle, if I, if I give up Salazzle, then, no, I can't, because then Outrage doesn't, doesn't do it, to Mawile, let me try something here, at the very least. I'd be curious to see if he coils. He's probably also trying to figure out, um... How to Oko my Salazzle. And... Let's go for the Thousand Arrows. And that's... Yeah, that's gonna be the match. That's gonna be the match, because now he's gonna get complete form, and complete form is gonna beat me. Man, all right. All right. Um, I could attempt to take this thing out with Outrage, but then the Mawel just wins here, and... I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter either way. I probably should just Outrage, right? Who knows, maybe I crit here. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know what I missed about that yoga, but, uh... Uh... I don't know. Okay, so... Um, if I still had my Palkia, right? Um, I don't know what he's thinking about. Is he just trying to preserve differential with a, uh... With a Maw Wild play? Because I aggressively think it doesn't matter, unless he's just trying to maneuver in his wall wall to, to bring this thing back in, go down to rocks, and then uh, initiate father form. Is that what he's trying to do? Uh, okay. 
Maybe he's trying to see whether or not I'm banded? I'm not... I don't know. Yeah, he's just trying to initiate father. He, he gave up a, a differential point just to initiate father for him. Oh, wait, was this aura construct? Or auras break the entire time? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to crit here. Uh, although, I wish I did. But... Uh, this should be the match. Does go for his screams? Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, he doesn't have Outrage. He doesn't have Outrage. He's trying to chip me down so that the Mawile beats me. Well, now I'm in range of the Mawile, so it doesn't matter anyway. And it's Auric Break. <laughs> he didn't... Oh, no. He... Okay. You know, I guess it's at the at the very end of the turn he has to be below 50, but um But yeah, no, I'm for sure in range of Mawa Sucker Punch. Although Mawa has not gone for Sucker Punch, so it, there's a slight chance that it does, that it just straight up doesn't have it. But um I should by all accounts be in range of Mawa Sucker Punch here. Mawile. You know, th you know, it, it it never mattered, even though. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's still not going to matter a whole heck of a lot, because extreme speed is going to be able to win the match for him right now. But uh, I played as well as I could have in this in this situation. Um, that's gonna be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon. We're going to start off 0-4, but we will be back really, really soon with more weeks of the APA as well as more weeks of the PGP League War. Uh, we're going to be in the playoffs for that, and um, we're going to be in the ICBA playoffs and the UBL playoffs, so there's a whole lot of uh, stuff to, to happen as well, but but that one's going to thank you guys so much for watching. going to be once again. Out.